Hello, and welcome to Lent with St. Edith Stein. This is Rebecca, and I'm so glad you could join us today. This podcast is brought to you by St. Edith Stein Co., so please be sure to check out our website at stedithsteinco.com. This podcast is a series of short reflections based on the writings of St. Edith Stein. Just little nuggets of philosophy to help you on your way during Lent. So let's begin with the prayer that St. Edith wrote. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O my God, fill my soul with holy joy, courage, and strength to serve you. Enkindle your love in me, and then walk with me along the next stretch of road before me. I do not see very far ahead, but when I have arrived where the horizon now closes down, a new prospect will open before me, and I shall meet it with peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yesterday, we discussed how God made men and women differently with intention. Women have particular gifts that aid us in any vocation, but particularly as wife and mother. Specifically, women have increased empathy and are naturally more interested in people than in things. Additionally, women have a natural drive for personal development and also seek to help others reach their full potential as well. And that all sounds pretty great, right? Unfortunately, there's always a downside because we always deal with sin. And sin takes our beautiful nature that God gives us and twists it into something evil. And while there's no sin that is exclusive to women or to men, there are some sins that we are more prone to because of our nature. A woman's desire to help others reach their full potential can manifest itself in centering everyone around herself. Or in more familiar terms, we become control freaks. We can see our husbands and children as our possessions who should do as we say because we know best. Many of us have seen this extend to the workplace and friendships as well. And in some of these situations, we've been the guilty party. However, by attempting to take control of the people in our care, rather than gently leading them, we stall their development because they develop that resistance. Now you probably saw this next one coming. Our genuine interest in the lives of others can manifest itself as gossip. Rather than offering help and empathizing with others, we ridicule and judge them. We tear them down so we can mask our own insecurities and feel better about ourselves. But rather than developing our empathetic and helpful nature, when we fall into gossip, we suppress that nature and dehumanize the people around us. Our desire for self-betterment can lead us into envy and resentment of others who we perceive are further along in their goals than we are. Instead of developing our talents, we make excuses for why everyone has it better than we do. When we are overrun by sin, our greatest gifts become weapons that hurt the very people we should be caring for. And these wonderful gifts we have been given are tainted. So how can we ensure that our spiritual gifts are being used to lead ourselves and others to God? For guidance, we can look to Mary. She awaited the birth of Jesus with great joy, watched over his childhood, followed him in his public ministry, and stood with him at the foot of the cross. Mary did not consider Jesus to be her property, but accepted him as a gift from God's hand, which she nurtured and gave back to him. As St. Edith Stein wrote, All is based on the concept of marriage and motherhood as a vocation from God. It is carried out for God's sake and under his guidance. We must remember that no matter what we do, no matter what our state in life, we must make it part of our vocation. And that means that we accept that the people in our lives belong to God. And we are here to care for them 
when they need us and to stand by supportively when they don't. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope that you'll continue to tune in as we reflect on the writings of St. Edith Stein throughout this Lenten season. May God bless you and may the saints be with you.